This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Oh, here we go, fish on. There you go, double. Oh, doubled up. Oh, with the sunrise. With the sunrise. Oh, tuna. Tuna. Oh, cool. That's a uh, yeah. skipjack tuna. Here we go, Dawson's turn. Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and we are in New Way today, and we're fishing with Captain Ian. Thank you for bringing us out here. No worries. Yeah, and we got fish on. Jocelyn's on right here, <laughs> trying to bring it in. And we already got one little skipjack tuna on board. And look at that sunrise behind me. What a perfect timing. If you missed our last video, we are in New Way, an island in the South Pacific, and the water here is as blue as it gets. You got it, you got it. Almost, it's almost here. Another one. Yeah, oh, that's a bigger one. <laughs> Another skipjack. Nice job. Why does it feel so heavy? <laughs> <laughs> now they're strong fish. Strong fish, it's like just a torpedo. I think that's the only one I'm going to be able to bring in. <laughs> that's the only one. Nice. A good start. See the color there? The wow. electric blue? Yeah, it's so blue. That's when they say when the fish is lit up, like yeah. the marlin, uh -huh. you get that like electric ultraviolet. Oh my god. That's so cool. Yeah, gonna go ahead and... Bonk them and bleed them. Perfect. There we go. Couple beautiful fish to start off our morning. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. Oh, girl, I'll bring it in. Good. Oh, Wahoo! Wahoo! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! First Wahoo! <laughs> That's my first Wahoo! Is it? Yeah! Awesome! Yeah! I felt, I knew it felt good. <laughs> nice. We were lucky to get it because normally um, when I fish for a wahoo, because they got such sharp teeth. Oh yeah. They use wire on right. the tray. So mm -hmm. like if this mono was to just touch that teeth. Yeah. So we were lucky to been... get the fish. So. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the, how much, what's the... This is only like 100 pound line. Uh, this one's 150. 150. But it'll just yeah. cut through it like butter. Yeah. Wait for it. What a start. Okay, here's the next Wahoo. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo, look at that. That's a Wahoo. Yeah. Already clean and gutted. This is eggs. They're eggs. Yep. Everybody feel alright? Yeah. Yep, good. Doing good. That's right. Oh, a little 
baby one. There's a baby. Yeah, up, up ahead with... Quick word from today's sponsor, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. Each box is valued around $70, but you pay a fraction of the price. This is the Explore, a backpack, nice water bottle, LED headlight, and a little granola bar. Sweet. 90% of the products in Bespoke Post boxes come from small brands, many of which are based in the US. Like the knife from Terra Box is made by Bare Bones based in Salt Lake City. The cool thing is you only pay for what you want. You'll get a box of awesome assigned to you each month based on a quiz you take when you sign up. And each month you can decide to keep it, swap it, or skip the month entirely for no charge to you. I think this box might be my favorite one. The Retreat comes with a hammock which you're gonna need. and a nice on-the-go blanket. Get 20% off your first box of awesome when you click the link in the description below and enter code OCL20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com OCL20. Thanks again to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. Now, back to it. Wahoo is what's for dinner tonight and uh, Ian is actually a chef himself. Yes. Uh... By trade, but I'm a fisherman now, and um, that's what we're going to eat tonight is some wahoo. Yeah, so he's going to show me some things, and maybe I can show him a couple things as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Yeah, let's get yeah. to it. All right. I'm going to start off with uh, filleting the wahoo here. First thing, I usually just take the head off. Boom. So we'll do that. Oh, so we're also talking about... Maybe grilling some of this. Yes. And um, you're saying the tail section, we should kind of stake a couple pieces. Yeah, maybe like discard that, you know, to there and then yeah. stake it up a little bit along boom. here. Boom, boom, Look at this meat. It's beautiful. Okay. Now we'll fillet the rest. We just have to do four small pieces there. Okay, I'm gonna start off on this side over here. How are the scales on this? Not really no, nothing, huh? No. Oh, sweet. Yeah, Look at that. Just out. smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh damn, I botched it. I went under the, I went under. Well, first time seeing Oahu, but uh, I mean, they're similar to a lot of other fish like the Spanish mackerel and, you know, some of the, those big mackerels are very much the same shape. friend in Australia said you've got to you've got to talk your Hawaiian spearfishing friends in coming here. Oh yeah. Give me their names, I don't know who they are. <laughs> mm, nice. There it is. You're not doing a good job bit like <laughs> There's a Wahoo. Okay, so the first bit, let me show you where I messed up. So I went actually a little too low. And instead of going over the bones here, I went under these bones right here so but it's not too bad all right we'll do the other side as well i take the i take spear i just ate to the fat where we went fishing today in the deep one and they jump in there and shoot whatever's there yeah. shoot wahoo money, money. i think some <laughs> go and get some crayfish every now and then but yeah. 
and even it's kind of frowned upon if say Jay is to have someone from the other village come in and tourists. But some tourists are being naughty and they just go up feed and track and then There we go, there's a second fillet. Now I'm going to take the rib cage off as well. Generally um, discard the belly. The wahoo, they tend to yeah. have a lot of some like, black, heavy black, oily stuff in the oh, okay, really? belly and sometimes some uh, some worms or something, you know, oh, so right. just discard the belly and feed it to the dog. All right, sounds good. You want to feed it to the dogs? Yeah. No, I'll cook it. No, I'll cook it. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm thinking about using this belly side and I'm actually going to keep the skin on and have you ever tried searing the skin? No. I'm going to try that. Well, let's just see how it goes. Okay, we've got some salt here and sugar. We're going to combine the, the two together, make a little dry brine, put it all in. Feels about the perfect amount of both. Right about half and half. We've got a little heavier on the sugar. Toss this together. So this is what I'm planning on doing is doing this dry brine yep. and for about 30 minutes. And um, I'm going to sear the skin and we'll throw it on here with a little bit of the smoke yeah. from the coconut husk yeah. and try to, you know, just incorporate some smoke into it. Yeah. So and then just do it. It's basically, it's not going to be cooked. It's just going to be smoked yeah. for like five minutes yeah. really quick. Yeah. So like a little smoked Wahoo. I'm just gonna trim this up, just a couple parts here. And I'm just gonna cut this in half here. Just, boom. We'll layer the bottom. And we'll just cover it all in, in this uh, salt and sugar mix. Yeah, just really heavy, really heavy on it. And that's just gonna go for a quick 30 minute cure. All right, and put that back in the fridge. Yep. The fish is, you know, basically prepped. It just needs to do a couple more things to it. But uh, Ian's gonna show us how to uh, husk the coconuts and make some coconut cream. I use a lot of that uh, locally here, right, in the local cuisine. Oh yes, uh, coconut cream is one of the staples for the for the locals with the fish. Yeah, and with their starches as well, they like to eat it with their taro and their breadfruit and cassava as well. Yeah, it's it's, oh, it's, sounds... uh, it's abundant, you know. Yeah. So they just use the local produce. Yeah. Sounds delicious. And what and what are you going to be making with the coconut cream? Uh, we're going to be making a local dish called otter, mm -hmm. which is uh, just marinated the wahoo in lime with some coconut cream and some tomato. Oh. Cucumber oh, and some yeah. spring onion. It's a local delicacy. It's a famous on Nui. Sounds delicious. Can't wait. Yeah, we'll get into it. Yeah. So we're gonna husk this coconut. It's it's a very hot day. It's gonna get very sweaty. <laughs> but uh, it's technique more than brute strength with a coconut. It's uh, all about trying to peel the husk off. So I'm just working it round. Mm -hmm. Loosening the husk. Just the top. Just the top. Crack all the top. And I'm using my body weight to push it down. And f nice. And that's it. That's it. And for the coconut cream, you use these, the brown, the, the older one, the mature ones. Yeah, the mature ones. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Um, the green ones are the drinking coconuts. Yeah. The flesh on them is very thin. Mm -hmm. This is a mature coconut that's fallen from the tree. So the uh, the flesh is very thick right. and mature. And it's good for grating and squeezing. Yeah. That looked pretty easy. It's your turn, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might just be the... Uh, you're just making it look easy. Yes. I feel like uh, I'm going to be having a difficult time here. Yes. <laughs> so you really want to sort of start on this big bulbous bit here. Okay. It's not very sharp, so just give it a try and get, give it a push of it.
Right. You work around this way? Uh, whichever way, way, more the other way. This way, yeah. It doesn't matter, as long as you... Uh, Pull it, pull it away now, and even take it off. Yeah. Oh. Now you know why the the local men and women are quite muscular and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're just husking coconuts all day. What's the most? How many is the most you've done in a day? Oh, like, I think I've done about. There we go. <laughs> Come and stay. <laughs> Husk more I'm coconuts. <laughs> this is a good character building uh, job right here. Yeah. Got it. Peel off the rubbish. So we just need to open the coconut. So we just take the coconut, rotate it. Look at that. So easy. And uh, personally, I don't like to drink the the water of the mature ones. It's yes. it's not sweet. It's usually quite fizzy mm -hmm. and uh, not too pleasant. Whereas the young green ones are sweet and delicious. Yeah. yeah. So the old ones are just used for yeah. the yeah. the meat. Yeah. All right. That... Okay. I'll show you the uh, the technique. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the traditional. Um, coconut grading tool. There's different styles, but this one is the one that I have. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get them from any good Asian shop in, okay. your, in your city. And it's just a sharpened toothed blade, which uh, as you roll the coconut over it, it grates it. Hmm. Just makes it into fine shreds. I think it's the old practice makes perfect with grating coconuts. The more you do it, the better you get. Yeah. Joss, come and taste this. Just pull that off the end then. You get a good, get a, it's, it's delicious. Like just, yeah, just slide it off, yeah. Mm. How's that taste? Really good. Mm. Juicy? Mm hmm. Very feel juicy. The, feel the liquid coming out? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Oh wow. Delicious. And say if you want like a cup of coconut cream, how many coconuts does that take? For a cup? Yeah. I would say two. You know, it's worth it to put the effort into it. Like it is a pain in the butt, but you can taste. Uh-huh. Taste the difference. Yeah, definitely. You, you would know. Yeah. It's a little bit sweeter, you always know. Oh yeah. And you always know, so you can't cheat them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me try to crack this coconut. Oh yeah. Two wax. Got it. Oh, oh with two wax. Champion. Champion. <laughs> oh, now I gotta go grade it. Looks like a lot of work. Okay, so I saw you starting kind of like this, right? On the outside? Yeah, what I'm trying to do is grind that, mm -hmm. grind that edge down just so it's, it's, it's sort of light work, medium medium pressure. Okay. You know, the, more, the harder you, you grate, the thicker the piece and it doesn't uh, squeeze right. as well. So. Right. Yeah. do this all day. <laughs> I can adjust to zero because I'll overheat. <laughs> okay, so we're going to squeeze the juice out of the grated coconut now. Yeah. So we're using a, a cheesecloth okay. or a muslin cloth. Okay. You just want to, not too much in amount, place it in the middle, fold it up nicely. I just make a little bit of a 
just to spread it out, just so I can squeeze it easier. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that. And then we just... The stronger you are, <laughs> the more you get. And you know when you've done it right, it discards in a nice hard clump. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. It's pretty much all dry. Dry, yeah. And do you do anything with this bit? Um, I don't. Um, mm. Usually you just chuck it in the garden or yeah. the chickens, the dogs might eat it. Mm, I see. Yeah. yeah, I see. This is the hard part. It just gives you tendonitis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tennis elbow. Yeah. yeah ligaments this in your the tendons, part that you feel gotta... the pain. <laughs> Get some blisters. This is the force that you gotta put in work the traditional thing is the um the brown i don't know what it's called there's like a a piece of material that grows around the coconuts oh yeah and they pull it like around the butt of the trunk of the tree and that's the traditional thing that they used to use to squeeze it instead of a cloth oh so everything was available on the tree yeah that's incredible and ian was kind enough to pre-make some before we got here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, Taku, would yeah. you like to try? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right, just grab a handful, something like that. Every little drop counts. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing, that's all I can get out of it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was two coconuts. Um, yeah, it seemed like a little less than a cup, yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a ton of work for, for some coconut cream. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely a labor of love going on here. We got our coconut cream. Okay, let's give this a taste. I'm really curious. To... We do the. Uh... Oh wow, that is so creamy. It's delicious, eh? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. I can't believe that. Like the creaminess. It's a bit sweet. It didn't, it's sweet. Yeah, sweet. sweet. That's delicious. Yes. That's definitely different than any any store bought can. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. what's going to make it delicious. Yeah, yeah, I believe it now. I'm a believer. Okay, so I've gone ahead and rinsed it off just with fresh water. Yeah, it's been about 30 minutes. You can see kind of the skin wrinkling, kind of drying out from that salt. So I got a little blowtorch here. It's, it's super bright, so you can't even see the flame, but there you go, you can see it burning. So we're basically gonna burn the skin. This is basically gonna make the skin nice and edible. You can't eat raw skin. You gotta cook it somehow, and this is what we're doing. Basically, it just, the skin is so thin here that we can just burn it and it'll cook and it'll be edible. And it's gonna bring out some fat as well, some flavor. It'll give it some smoky flavor and we're gonna smoke it on top of this. So it's gonna be extra smoky. There we go. And that is done, ready for the smoke. Fish is ready to smoke. Got a coconut uh, shell right here and has hot coals. I'm gonna put some hot coals. Right, this is just more coconut shell too. This burns really hot. Dang, it is, it's like, sounds like glass. Got a nice fire going. We'll cover that up. Trap all the smoke in here. We're gonna smoke this. Let's see, with this amount of smoke, we'll go about five to seven minutes in here. I'm burning. <laughs> <laughs> now the fish should be ready. Oh, beautiful. Coconut smoked wahoo. See how it's still completely raw, just lightly smoked. It smells very smoky, nice and smoky. I'm just gonna wrap it up in plastic 
That's actually just gonna lock the smoke in. So we don't need to smoke it for a long time. We just need to smoke it quickly and then just lock it in. All right, I'll throw this in the fridge for a little bit and then we'll make everything else and it'll be ready. Ian's gonna start prepping for, uh, what, say Otta. it again? Otta. O-T-A, Otta. Otta. The national dish of Nui. Uh -huh. oh, I can't wait for this one. So I'm just gonna slice it, sort of like a thick sashimi slice. Okay. It doesn't need to be neat and tidy or anything like that, just a, not too thick, not too thin. I originally was on a, a working visa in um, New Zealand in my youth and um, met my wonderful wife Renee who was born in Niue. When we got together and we got married we decided to come and have a look at the country where she was born and uh, we both, I fell in love with the place and we talked about moving here. Um, some things happened along the way like Cyclone Heta, um, we got into business in New Zealand and we had a baby. And then the time is just right and uh, we made the move and it's been the best thing for us as a family we could have done. We need some lime juice. You can use lemon or lime but the local preference for the taste is, is lime. So we just add the lime juice to the fish. Need a bit more. And we put some salt. Quite a bit of salt. It, it doesn't uh, it doesn't end up salty. We just give that a stir around, try and coat all the pieces of fish. Um, the longer you leave it in the lime juice or the lemon juice, the more it will cure and cook through. Personally, I like it pretty raw because the fish is so fresh and beautiful. But we'll just leave that for a couple of minutes while I prepare the salads. So far, it's basically a, like a ceviche. Yes. Yeah. yeah. A few cherry tomatoes. Oh yeah, and some, just a little bit of chili, a little bit of heat. Chilies. We love that. Not too much. We can always add more. You can see the fish is taken on a slightly whitish colour, a bit milkier. And we can add the coconut cream. Just put that in the fridge yeah. just for a short while just okay. to let the the coconut cream soak into the fish a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Looks great. Can't wait to taste. I'm gonna slice up our sashimi now. Let me take a sniff. Oh yeah, that is nice. Mm, amazing. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so good. Whatever you get, you don't want, I'll feed to the bops. Looks good so far. I think that might be enough with all the food we got. There you go, you can give these to the bops. Mm. I got some soy sauce here. We can kind of dip in soy sauce or we can just go ahead and sauce this up right now. And that right there is some coconut smoke wahoo. I was able to put the baby kitty. Nice. I gave her a piece of food and let me pick it. Give her the biggest piece of fish. <laughs> And lastly, we're going to grill up those little tiny steaks of wahoo as well. And Ian's just using the, the coconut shells. Incorporate more of that coconut local flavor. Mm. 
you got the row on there too. Yeah. yeah. And you just season with with uh, salt, right? Just salt and pepper, yeah. Yeah. It does cook very fast. It's a very lean fish. Yeah. Not got much fat on it. Mm -hmm. So you got to pay attention. Yes. Can't really walk away and yeah, yeah. go do other things. Oh, everything looks so delicious. I am starving. We're about to eat we're right there. Just finishing off the plantains on the grill and that's it. Everything looks delicious. Yeah. I can't wait to try this. So. Yes. And yeah, you guys can try this too. This is yes. our kelp chili crisp. Yep. Yeah. I think with the cooked fish, the grilled fish, this is going to be delicious. Yeah. Oh, let's try a steak too. I'm going to try this roll. I usually smoke row, you know, if I get yeah. a, a big row, like sometimes you'll get a fish and the rows are really fat. Right. Have you done this before, smoking uh, like a light smoke? I mean, yeah, I, I normally do it with like a, like a king mackerel. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Mm. Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's mm. delicious. Say what we were talking the about. The creaminess though. of the coconut cream and then it has a good good acidity with the with the lime and fish is perfectly tender yeah. oh my god that's so good how's that really good oh i like it more with the wahoo than the, the mm -hmm. goat fish and the little yeah. goat fish that we had yeah yeah that's uh that's just a seasonal thing that yeah mm -hmm. some of the grilled wahoo mm. oh I love killfish, mate. Yeah. Like that? Mm. Me too. The light smoke on it. Just sound, really, yeah. It's a simple looking kind of sashimi platter, but yeah. there's um, depth to it. Yeah. 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 Just adds another, uh, another piece to the pie. Mm. 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 Try some of this please? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So where, where does that go? Just anywhere? Anywhere, yeah. Yeah, anything you like. I'll put it on, I'll put it on the row. Chili crisp. I reckon the this chili crisp is gonna be so good with this oh, little yeah. fish. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Wahoo! I've been missing out. Yeah. <laughs> we went for Wahoo in Hawaii too. Yeah. Just for a half day, but yeah, we didn't have any luck. Yeah. I'm glad we got one today. So, it, like I say, everyone's got their own version of otter, mm -hmm. but it's pretty much the same time, you know. Yeah, yeah. You can't really this go is... wrong, can you? What have this you got there? Shikaya. Hi, Shikaya. Shikaya. I'm Taku. Nice to meet you. I'm Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. Hi, I saw you guys the other night of yeah. Oh, those are those, those are real unders, those ones. Yeah. <laughs> That's the coconut <laughs> crab delivery. They're huge. Ooh. They're yeah. monsters. They are huge. Yeah, we do well. Wow. <laughs> Shakaya's dad, it's your biggest fan in Australia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told him. The message was, oh my god. <laughs> my favorite YouTuber is on you. Do you want to try it? You want to try some? Oh, I can't say no. Yeah. <laughs> try some. Yeah. 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 So what do we get today? There's a wahoo. We call it a wahoo. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Delicious. Awesome. Glad you got to try it. Now you get to Just brag to your dad about that too. I know. I'm very jealous. <laughs> All right guys. Well we had Wahoo three ways and every single way. Just absolutely killer. Uh, definitely been missing out on, on the Wahoo because uh, that was my first, this is my first time having it. First catch and yeah I really wanted to wait until 
caught my first one. And special thanks to Ian. Thank you so much, man, for taking us fishing and no invite us, inviting us into your home. And thank you, Renee. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. And if you guys uh, end up in New Way somehow, um, make sure to hit up Ian. He's got a uh, charter business. Yeah, come uh, come to New Way, come fishing with um, Sea Turtle Charters. Or you can check check out my YouTube channel. It's Fishing with Fonu. And yeah, come to New Way. Everybody's welcome. I'll take you fishing. And we'll catch the fish. Yeah, everybody's so friendly here. It's just been such an amazing time. Anyways, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank